Hello guys, Mrs. Holy here. Welcome to my channel. Thank you everyone to those who subscribe to me. We are now having 2,300 subscribers. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. As you can see, I have a crochet hook here. And before we start, if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and share this video. And if you like this kind of video, please do click the notification bell down there on the description below and be updated on my videos. So enjoy watching and I hope you learned something about this anatomy of the crochet hook. So let's begin with the anatomy of a crochet hook. So before that, let's talk about the definition of a crochet hook. Well, a crochet hook is a crochet needle or a needle implemented to use and make loops in the thread or yarn to create stitches or to create chains. So let's begin. The first part of our crochet hook is the handle. The handle or uh, some call it handle grip. So crochet hook has this handle grip where you hold on to your crochet hook. Well, there are some crochet hook that doesn't have grip or handle. The next one we have the thumb wrist and then the shaft well the shaft is a place where your yarns are resting whenever you create your chains and then we have the hook tip hook tip is the round thing here this is the tip of your crochet hook this is the first contact on your yarn whenever you have to create a loop or whenever you have to create a chain well of course we have the hook up the hook up is the one holding the yarn itself in place wait medyo malabo sorry okay etong hook up eto etong point na to this point one is the one holding your yarn whenever you create a chain or a loop of course this is the throat or the neck of course the neck is the size of a chain that you were able to create once na nag loop ka na using your um, hook up and your hook tip whatever is placed on your neck is the size of your chain for example this one I'm gonna create one chain so Let's make a chain using this so yarn over pull cross it and then yarn over pull through the loop so you already have a chain so this is the shaft that I'm telling you earlier then I hold in place with your yarn or thread And then this is the neck and your hook up. So in place pa rin yung ating thread or yung chain because we have the hook up and the neck. Well, metric sizing of the hook is based on the throat, this one. The shaft diameter, this one. And the meaning of the measurement of the hook around or the sizing is the width of the hook neck in millimeters yung metric nya yung eto metric sizes yung nakikita mo sa handle sometimes you can see it on the handle sometimes you may see it on the thumb rest like this one this is on the thumb rest the size of your hook sometimes it's on the handle And sometimes it's like this, it's engraved. Okay, this is bamboo. 
well our hook is made up of plastic aluminum metal bamboo or stainless steel so just like this one the handle is made of plastic and the metal part is on the shank up to the hook up and the hook tip well there are two ways of holding your crochet hook the first one is the knife knife way just like holding a knife and slicing and the second one is pencil just like you were writing something using your thumb like this resting like this this is the pencil way and we also have these kind of hook the inline hooks and tapered hooks well I don't have an inline hook this one that I'm holding one is a tapered hook Tape, tapered hooks have groove on the throat ito yung parang pavisha or it narrows or kumikitin while yung inline yung inline hooks natin is straight siya pantay siya from the shank to the head it's straight line there's no uh, narrowing or there's no groove they said that if you were using a tapered hook kumikitid yung iyong chain or yung project but I don't think na that is the problem or that is the cause it depends on how you use your crochet hook on how your tension is being measured with your crochet project so let's recap with the anatomy of our crochet hook we have the handle the handle the thumb rest the shank the neck or throat the hook up and the hook tip so guys you now know the anatomy of your crochet hook Maybe one day when you start doing your crochet, you may be able to recognize your hook and the anatomy of your tool you're using. Well, I'm going to post a few pictures of my crochet hooks on the latter part of this video. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And you may also click the notification bell for you to be updated of my upcoming videos and more. watching